In this video, I want to look a bit about um, why Nottingham was regenerated. Now, the focus of this case study is more on how it's regenerated because it's so differently regenerated. So in my other video, there'll be much more information. It's just I want to do a quick summary of why it was rebranded. So um, it was, it's was it been managed, the regeneration, by Nottingham Rebranding Limited. And this is actually established by the private sector, which is interesting because regeneration seems to be something uh, um, connected with the Labour government because that there was their idea that that set out on making these um, regeneration projects take place. So it's interesting this was set up by the private industry. Now, one of the reasons is Nottingham had a really negatively perceived image of gun crime, violence, binge drinking, drug abuse. That was what Nottingham was known for. And an example of this is in east of Nottingham, St Anne's, the park, like where children play, Children's Park, was burnt down by a group of children because I can't quite remember, but they they weren't happy with it or something, but they burnt a park down. And this caused conflict with the um, councils because they decided that they're not going to do anything else in the park, so it's just lying there. And um, they have forbidden anyone to develop anything there as a punishment which is kind of letting the land become derelict and land is a finite resource, we got to do something with it, which is terrible. And a lot of people are excuse, um, you know, um, blaming them for saying, you know, you're just making space for drug dealing. You might as well build something out of it because that was kind of the conflict going on. It was also, as with all the other things, decline of industry. Now, north of Cor um, Cornwall, sorry, Nottingham, north of Nottingham, they had like um, clay and wood fields, so it's very agriculture, primary industry based. Whereas in the south, they were more industrious people, and it was known for its lace making, and lace making particularly took off in the 19th century. So these um, sectors declined and obviously the, this caused much unemployment and led to the spiral of decline. But obviously three years back it was designated scientific um, city status and all that. So it's picked up quite a bit. But the regeneration is not particularly done for re uh, Nottingham as you'll find out in my other video. It's more done for the areas uh, adjacent surrounding it. It's to kind of uh, really bring up the area and that kind of term because that lets Nottingham down. So um, an area, for example, is in the east called Radford. So it's just to like build these places up more because, you know, inside a city they tend to be doing well. The regeneration process actually can cost £3.5 billion. Pounds. It's quite expensive. But in my next video, what we're going to do is we're going to just look at all the kind of um, things they've done because that's more important for this case study. Anyways, see you later.